There is a mural of the two of you outside in this rec center we're sitting in. So I guess this is real. What does it feel like knowing, okay, y'all are Clippers now, together, here? It feels great. Um, I think seeing that kind of solidified it. Um, opened that chapter of, of this new uh, journey that we're going on. Still kind of surreal. Um, you know, just able to have Paul on my team and even just being back home and playing. Um, you know, it's just it's a great experience. Uh, it's probably going to be my, my first time playing with a, you know, elite player on his level. Um, you know, around the same age as me, same talent. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to play. You know, I can't wait till training camp start. Uh, you know, get into season mode, put on a jersey, you know, pass on the ball. Um, you know, just talking on the floor. I can't wait. It. I'm excited. You guys both grew up around outside of LA, around the same time you both went to those mid-major colleges in Southern California. Paul, you get drafted by the Pacers in 2010. Mm -hmm. 2011, draft night, they take Kawhi Leonard. Mm -hmm. Now they did trade him draft night for George Hill, but what did you think when he got drafted? I was a little nervous. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous just because, you know, we play the same position. Immediately it was like, all right, I need to work on something because they, they bring in reinforcement in right away. But it would have been amazing to see what we could have did in Indiana and what we could have accomplished. Eight years later, you guys are on the same team. Take me through how this happened. How did we get here? <laughs> what were the conversations? You've seen it, though. I signed <laughs> and he got traded. <laughs> I have the feeling something happened before that. I don't know. Who called who? How did you guys start talking about the idea of playing together? Um, well, the idea started, uh, you know, probably me playing in San Antonio and him being on the Pacers, and then, you know, I was trying to get uh, San Antonio to get him over with us. And, uh, you know, how things work with Trey's, uh, you know, he ended up with, uh, to the Thunder, probably had a better package for him, but, uh, you know, that's probably when the initial idea started, um, when he wanted to get out of Indiana. And what kind of conversations did you have at the beginning of this July? We, we talked um, and, and just wanted to uh, see what the possibility will be to play together. Um, and then as he's going through his free agency, looking at the teams that he was looking at, coming back to LA, um, you know, it, it seemed like an opportunity that um, I couldn't pass up. And Paul, you stood on a stage with Russell Westbrook just last summer, said, I'm here to stay in Oklahoma City. That was a year ago though. You signed a four-year contract. What changed to get to this point where you said, okay, I'm ready to go, I'm gonna ask to move on to Los Angeles? It just was nothing that came out of the blue. We were all on the same page. The initial plan was to give it another year, see what we could do. I did that, we played another year. It felt like we were just stagnant. And, um, you know, the next thing was, you know, let's, let's go forward and, and go on with other plans. And um, again, it was mutual amongst everybody. I think it was just a win-win across the board when we all looked at it and thought this was the best moment to, uh, to pull the plug. What was it like, though, for you to talk to Russ and say, hey, I think it's time. I think I'm gonna move on, ask to move on. I mean, it was, it was easy, same conversation me and Russ always have. You know, he, he was happy. Um, he understood, um, you know, and, and he was all for it. We talked as men and, um, you know, again, he was happy for me and, you know, he, you know, he wanted me to do what was best for me in my career. Meanwhile, Kawhi, you are going through, I think, one of the craziest weeks of free agency ever. Kawhi Leonard returning to Toronto. Is seriously considering the Los Angeles Lakers. Kawhi Leonard coming here to Los Angeles. Not the Lakers. This move that he made is interesting. You had helicopters following your SUV around. What did that feel like? I didn't know what, what to really <laughs> think about it, you know what I mean? Uh, I didn't know why they were following me, uh, why a helicopter would be following me, but... Um, you know, it was fans outside the hotel as well. And, you know, they're just excited seeing what's going to happen. I don't know what they were looking for. I wasn't going to come on the hotel and do something amazing, but uh, or make an announcement to everybody at that time. But um, you know, that's how Toronto is. They've got an amazing fan base. Uh, the experience there was was great. Um, win or lose the championship, uh, I had a lot of fun there. And you know, I said that to to Kyle probably before playoffs even started that it's been a fun year and whatever happens. You can't get much better going into your free agency than coming off a finals MVP mm -hmm. performance. It gives you the ultimate leverage. How were you smart about using that leverage in these free agency meetings? What did you want from teams? What did you ask for? It was just about 
um, you know, where I wanted to be and um, where my family was going to be happy at, uh, my in-home family. And that's pretty much what I made, the, made my decision with. You know, I wanted to get be with, with people that would have some pedigree in the front office as far as a coaching staff. How close were you to maybe going to one of the other two teams you considered? Um, I was very close, uh, real close. Um, you know, um, when they presented the opportunity to plan with Paul, it was it was an easy easy yes. Let's let's get it going. I know the Clippers sort of famously prepared for their pitch to you for maybe over a year. Mm -hmm. Was there a point in that meeting where they knew some detail about you, where they told you something that made you smile and feel like, wow, they really want me here? You know, just showing, uh, talking to me about the games that, you know, came and watched me play and, you know, little things like that and seeing what I thought at these certain moments when, you know, I thought that nobody was watching. And it just made me realize, like, wow, they really were watching me. They uh, wanted me to come and play for the, for the organization. And, um, that kind of made me just feel like uh, it was the right decision to make. You guys have both talked about your families. Um, they're sitting in this room. Paul, your mom with her health hasn't been able to travel. What does it mean to you to have that phone call that said, okay, the trade went through, we're gonna go home. We saw you celebrating with one of your friends. Yeah. I'm going home, I'm going home. Where are we going, cuz? <laughs> we coming home. We coming home. Why does that mean so much to you um, out here? It, it, it just means a lot. Um, you know, my, my parents, my mom and dad, both, um, ever since I was little, watched all my games and, and made it to every game. When I was in Fresno, they will make a three hour drive on, on every game day um, to come see me play. Um, they've been just super supportive. Um, so I think at this point in my career, um, that's me giving back to them, you know, that they can continue on what they started with catching every game. And, and being there in full support. And um, they know the love I have of being back home and being here. And for me to have them there on a nightly basis, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just special everywhere you look at it. You guys are here now, but you made a big deal in your press conference. This isn't it's the culmination of something, it's the beginning of something. A Kawhi Leonard team, a Paul George team, what kind of team is that? Playing hard on both ends of the floor. Uh, unselfish, uh, doing what it takes to win. But you're gonna see us compete on the defensive event for sure. Uh, grit, toughness and grit. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.